Good morning. It's Thursday, March 24th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, The Problem with Pharisees, in our scripture, Psalm chapter 32. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Do not be like a senseless horse or mule that needs a bit and bridle to keep it under control. If you check out the Gospel of the New Testament, just about every interaction between Jesus and the Pharisees didn't end pretty. In fact, Jesus was harder on this bunch than any criminal or outcast. Setting that track record against all the smarmy stuff that's said or written about how Jesus was soft and accepting to all people, we get a sense that something needs explanation. For that, the common mule will do. More about the mule in a moment. Pharisees were religious lawyers. They had the task of leading Israel to live godly lives, worshiping and serving God like the holy nation God wanted. That meant interpreting the words of Moses in the books of the law into everyday lessons for living. What they ended up doing was taking the Ten Commandments, which were principles to be applied to decision-making, and turning them into over 600 rules to be memorized. The psalmist said that was like putting a bit and bridle on a mule. A mule is smart enough to be stubbornly independent. He wants to go where he wants to go. But to fulfill that for which he was created, he needs to be led. Now, forcing an animal to comply to a task's purpose may get the task done, but it makes no friends. Nor does it make the doing of the task easier or more rewarding. The Lord's advice to us is to choose better than being forced into doing his bidding. He offers us a light to see the best pathway through life, one where we can complete his will and enjoy doing it. The difference between mule compliance and man cooperation is what we call the surrendered life. We surrender to God's will because he's a gracious God who would rather have our friendship and love than a stable full of mules who have to be turned this way or that by a bit and bridle. The problem with Pharisees and mules is it's hard to see past the choice of our will or God's will. We want what we want, and often it's what's right in front of us. Like Eve wanted what the serpent pointed out, We prefer to make our own decisions, rather than trust God to lead us into a better life. For you today, humans are presented with a choice every day, my way or his way. Pharisees and mules need bits and bridles of rules that command, do it this way, not that way. A disciple has a friend who walks with you on the best path and sticks closer than a brother. Get you on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.